Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy, back here at NSC 2013. I'm joined by John DeWitt. Let's talk about residencies and fellowships. That's a topic here that you've talked about with students. Um, first of all, a common question from students, the difference between residency and fellowship. Well, that's a, that's a good question. Really, the residencies are designed to take a novice clinician and develop them into an expert in a specialty field. Uh, the next step beyond that is a fellowship, and that takes an a, a individual that's already an expert in that specialty area and focuses their training on a niche specialty practice, and that's a subspecialty practice. So there's been a recent boom, I guess you would say, of the development of residency and fellowship programs. Tell me where that is and how much things are changing and maybe what the trends seem to be. Absolutely. We're seeing a huge trend and increase in, in programs. And that's a great asset for, for um, some of our students that are looking for opportunities in residencies and fellowships. We typically see about a 30% increase annually. And we have a very steep curve in, in trying to really help support those programs to enhance their growth in the future. So there is all this growth, so tell me if I'm a student and I'm trying to plan my future and I'm thinking, do I need to go into a residency right away, is this, or a fellowship, is this something I need to do, or should I wait? What's the best advice you would give them? Well, certainly you have to uh, consider the individual uh, and uh, pros and cons for that person. But I, I strongly believe that going right into a residency is, is the best path to success. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen between school and between uh, uh, getting a job and, and going back for a residency training. But um, I feel that in order to, to prevent folks from slipping through the cracks, getting right into a residency, you're already in the frame of, uh, of mind to learn and to train. Uh, and that's going to help uh, establish a great foundation for a future career in physical therapy. So let me ask you the hard question then, there's the question about, I pay so much for my PT education and now I have to potentially wait before I get up and full running into my practice. How are we going to handle that in the future? How's the profession going to handle that? Well, I, I think that uh, we look at outcomes, uh, and our, our financial um, incentives are going to be driven by our outcomes. And, and in order to have better outcomes, we have better uh, clinical practice and better mentoring. We need to get patients better faster. And, and I think that a lot of the residency programs understand the, the financial uh, constraints that students are experiencing when they graduate from a program. So a lot of programs offer uh, salaries. Uh, a lot of programs will, off, uh, will offer uh, benefits to the, to the residents to help support some of the education uh, didactically and clinical mentoring while they're in that program. Great. John DeWitt, thank you. Residencies and fellowships, just one of the topics we've talked about here at NSC 2013. I'm Jason Bellamy. To see all the dispatches from NSC, go to ap.org slash NSC slash video. Thanks for watching.